Folia 2023. 3,200 kilometers ish in 12 days. What an unbelievable adventure. Here's the story of how it happened. Day nine was 265k, Chemnitz to Herringen, just basically just starting to move across Germany, lots of little farm towns. It felt quite flat, which like I said before, or in the last video, was quite hard going. Climbs were actually easier because you could drop a few more watts, move around on the saddle a bit, and then enjoy a nice descent to make up some time. Whereas when you're on the flat, it was so monotonous and the saddle sores were getting pretty bad. Um, it's less the saddle sore and more just bruising from being on the saddle for so long. It was quite difficult. So yeah, another 10 hours that day, just moving across Germany, but yeah, really enjoyed that. Another lonely 7 a.m. standing session outside an Airbnb. Lunny's ready, Lunny's here. <laughs> oh, that's not Lunny. Um, right, day nine, 257K from, um, from, I don't know where we are, from Chemnitz to Herringham. Should be a pretty light, rolly ride today. No big climbs. Seven climbs come on Climb Pro, but they're, they're mere dents in the road. We're ready to roll. Friendly Germans, because 2K in the first diversion has begun, but everyone's quite literally telling us where to go. Check out my new fashion statement. one arm sunglasses. They literally flew off my head on a descent. They were on my face. German towns are just absolute ghost towns. 8.30 a.m. You don't see a soul. Not a sausage. Not a bratwurst. Another day, another set of cobbles. I think the whole of Germany is being dug up. And we've worked out it's being dug up by 70 year old men with diggers. So that's the business to get into if you're looking for some business ideas. Entrepreneurial. Seriously, this is like, we're now in the next town. I reckon 70 year old in this digger. He was definitely late 50s. Not Lunny, the guy driving the digger. It's become a bit of a wet morning. A wet morning a la man. We're rolling along, we're ticking, 50 k's in. The Lund dog is on a mission. The boy is flying. He's chasing that GC glory. country park here in somewhere in Germany. Very nice. And finally some smooth roads. The roads have been absolute turd so far this morning. So this is sweet. It's amazing how much time I spend thinking about tarmac. That's the good stuff. A bit more like it. Sunshine and fields. It's the combo we're after. Sunshine and fields. Beautiful German towns.
So we're in a place now called Jena, J-E-N-A. Interesting, very different uh, dynamic. Very green, but enormous high-rise blocks of apartments. Okay, tourist information for you. This place, Jena, must be a university town because it's actually massive, full of humans, and they're all on bikes. And it feels very much like uh, I'm riding through Cambridge. You know, just bikes going in every direction. No logic, really, but in a, in a beautiful way. But yeah, big, big place. And nice, too. The afternoon rainstorm has arrived. We are in Bad Mark Nowhere. So that escalated rather quickly. We found ourselves 30 centimetres to shelter under. Right. If you're in Germany, you don't eat currywurst. Are you even in Germany? Original German curry burst. Quite sure how I avoid getting run over by a tram here. One behind and one in front. Lunny, there's a tram behind. Oh, cool. Final dining spot of the day. I think it's an SO garage. It's pretty salubrious though, because it's got chairs. So, I feel actually a little bit posh, I don't know. Gotta get that on camera. Bloody Tarabo pouch. Absolute child, absolute child. Okay, so 215k into day nine. It's been very hot this afternoon. And for the first time, I actually feel pretty close, pretty close to cracking. Pretty close to cracking, 46k to go. Just trying to keep the chain tight. Get it done. It's fucking headwind as well. Cheers. Germantown even have a have a Woolworths. Wow. And of course Coffee. Okay crew, we've got an hour and a half. We have to check in at seven o'clock and we got 30k left. You're thinking that's a lot of time, but on these kind of trips, anything can happen in 30k. So strap in. Exactly what I was saying. See? No. We've got a baguette in the back, brioche down the front. That's like party at the back. Well, business up front. This is our emergency food because we park, we're uh, staying in the middle of nowhere. We don't think there's any food options there. We're hoping we can make something happen, but worst case scenario, we've got some bread-based fun, so. Three and a half K to go. 23 minutes to make it. Three and a half K. Time for the nightly episode of the Airbnb dance. Yeah, the I guess we've got like one of the apartments attached to this hotel. The hotel is very definitely not open. So uh, we're just hoping they turn up and let us in. It's five to seven, so we made it by seven.